Hello and welcome. To solve this logarithmic equation, let us start by simplifying the equation. To simplify, we rationalize these two bases. In this case, we have 2 over the square root of 2 minus root 3. To rationalize this, we are going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. Now, the conjugate of the denominator is the square root of 2 plus root 3 over the square root of 2 plus root 3. Now, when we multiply this and this, we have 2 times the square root of 2 plus root 3. And of course, when we multiply this and this, we have the square root of 2 minus root 3 multiplied by 2 plus root 3. Now, when you look at this, you're going to see the difference of two squares. So, this is equal to 2 times the square root of 2 plus root 3 divided by the square root of 2 times 2, which is 4, minus root 3 times root 3, which is 3. Of course, 4 minus 3 is equal to 1, and the square root of 1 is equal to 1. So, we can now clean this off and replace it with 2 times the square root of 2 plus root 3. And in this case, we have 1 over 2 minus root 3. Once more, we multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator, which is 2 plus root 3. This is equal to 2 plus root 3 divided by, once more, we have the product of this and this, which is equal to 1. So we can now clean this off and replace it with this. Now that we are done with the simplifications, remember that usually when faced with a logarithmic equation in which the bases are different, what we do is to apply the change of base formula so that we can be able to work in one common base. But if we do that in this case, we are going to run into a lot of complications. Since the question already tells us that this logarithm is equal to this logarithm, then let us assume that both of them are equal to a constant d. Now, what this means is that log to base 2 times the square root of 2 plus root 3 of x squared minus 4x minus 2 is equal to d. And also, log to base 2 plus root 3 of x squared minus 4x minus 3 is equal to d. And of course, you know that from these two statements, we have that this to the power d is equal to this. In the same way, this to the power d is equal to that. So from here, we have that 2 times the square root of 2 plus root 3 to the power d is equal to x squared minus 4x minus 2. And from here, we have that 2 plus root 3 to the power d is equal to x squared minus 4x minus 3. Now, our task is to find the value of d. To do that, let us subtract this second equation from the first equation. So we have minus. Of course, from here we have 2 times the square root of 2 plus root 3 to the power d minus 2 plus root 3 to the power d is equal to x squared minus x squared is equal to 0. Minus 4x minus minus 4x is equal to 0. Minus 2 minus 
minus 3 is equal to 1. So this is the equation that we need to solve to find the value of d. Now to solve this equation, let this, that is 2 plus root 3 be equal to y. Remember that 2 plus root 3 multiplied by its conjugate, which is 2 minus root 3 is equal to 1. But of course, you know that we can write 2 as 4 minus 2. So we can write this as 2 plus root 3 multiplied by 4 minus 2 minus root 3 is equal to 1. And of course, we can write this as 4 minus 2 plus root 3 multiplied by 2 plus root 3 is equal to 1. Because when we get rid of this bracket, we have minus 2, which is what we have here, and minus plus root 3, which is equal to minus root 3. But since 2 plus root 3 is equal to y, then from here we have that y multiplied by 4 minus y is equal to 1. Now back to this equation. Let us rewrite this equation in terms of y. We have 2 times y to the power half. Of course, this power of half is because of the square root to the power d minus y to the power d is equal to 1. Now let us open this bracket. We have 2 to the power d multiplied by y to the power half times d, which is d over 2, minus y to the power d is equal to 1. Let us factorize y to the power d. So we have y to the power d over 2. When we divide 2 to the power d times y to the power d over 2 by y to the power d over 2, of course, we are left with 2 to the power d. And y to the power d divided by y to the power d over 2 is going to give us y to the power d over 2. And of course, this is equal to 1. Now, look at this equation. You will notice that when d is equal to 2, then this equation is going to be y to the power 2 over 2, which is 1, multiplied by 2 to the power 2, which is 4, minus y to the power 2 over 2, which is 1, is equal to 1, which is exactly what we have here. So, the value of d that satisfies this equation is d equal to 2. Notice that when d is greater than 2, that is for values of d greater than 2, the left-hand side of this equation continues increasing. And for values of d less than 2, the left-hand side of this equation continues decreasing. So the only time when the left-hand side of this equation is going to be equal to 1 is when d is equal to 2. So finally, we have that this is equal to this, which is equal to 2. To find the value of x, we choose the simpler equation. You do not get marks for choosing hard problems. So let us choose this second equation. So we have that log to base 2 plus root 3 of x squared minus 4x minus 3 is equal to 2. And of course, from this equation, we have that x squared minus 4x minus 3 is equal to 2 plus root 3 to the power 2. Expanding this, we have 2 squared, which is 4, plus 2 times 2 times root 3, that is 4 root 3. 
plus root 3 squared, which is 3. So we have that x squared minus 4x minus 3 is equal to 7 plus 4 root 3. We are arranging this equation. We have that x squared minus 4x is equal to 7 plus 3 plus 4 root 3. And of course, from here we have that x squared minus 4x is equal to 10 plus 4 root 3. Now we are going to solve this quadratic equation by completing the square. We divide minus 4 by 2, square it, and add to both sides of the equation. So we have x squared minus 4x plus half of minus 4 is minus 2. We square that. And this is equal to 10 plus 4 root 3 plus minus 2 squared. Of course, you know that this is a perfect square. So we take 1x and we take 1 minus 2 and we square both. And this is equal to 10 plus 4 root 3 plus 4, which of course is equal to 14 plus 4 root 3. So we have that x minus 2 squared is equal to 14 plus 4 root 3. And of course, the next thing we are going to do is to take square root of both sides of this equation. When we do that, we have that x minus 2 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 14 plus 4 root 3. And from here, we have that x is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 14 plus 4 root 3. So from here, we have the two values of x that satisfy this logarithmic equation. We have that x is equal to 2 plus the square root of 14 plus 4 root 3. Or x is equal to 2 minus the square root of 14 plus 4 root 3. Now, this is approximately equal to 4.5747. So, using a calculator, we have that x1 is approximately equal to 6.5747 and x2 is approximately equal to minus 2.5747. And with that, we come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a thumbs up to support the channel. Thanks for watching. And you can see more videos here.